Summer might not be the same this year in Hammond, Indiana. Some of the city's public pools are in such disrepair, they will remain shut down out of safety concerns and could stay closed for good. That's right. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross got a look at just how bad those conditions are. He joins us now live from Hammond. Jeremy. Good afternoon, Rob. Good afternoon, Erica. Yeah, this is one of the pools slated to close down. It and others could be closed down long term. Some we spoke with didn't exactly notice the issues throughout the years, but one woman we spoke with describes the issues now. It's kind of old and rusty. Would it be safe for kids to play on that? Um, probably not. We showed this Hammond neighbor pictures of a pool that dip into areas of great concern. Wednesday, Hammond's mayor announced the city's four public swimming pools would remain closed this year, citing emergency safety conditions. This platform, for instance, once a diving board must, is now covered in rust. We found fences missing mounting bolts and large cracks that could host leaks in the pool's surface. Well, you paid attention to that. The pictures I showed you, a little shocking? Yeah. The city says three of the facilities were built back in 1954, this one in 1978, adding each requires nearly $1 million in immediate repairs. The cost and condition dire enough for Hammond to consider if pools are needed. The mayor noting declining pool attendance compared to the area's more popular Wolf Lake splash pad. He says that pad and Lakefront Park will provide water relief in the near term. Others see it differently. It takes away another thing for the kids to do. So we already have problems with the youth in Hammond. And if, if they had the pools, that would give them something to do that was constructive. And we wanted to know exactly how the pools got this way in the first place, but we were told the mayor was unavailable for an on-camera interview. In a release, the city said that they'll take the next year to determine whether or not they will fix the pools or instead invest that money in other recreation. Live in Hammond, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Robin Eric. It's too bad for the kids. For sure. It certainly is. Thank you, Jeremy.